Previously on Big Brother, Allison and Ryan narrowly escaped eviction. Jen and Parker, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. I am very glad that Jen is gone. Ryan and I can grow our relationship and our friendship. And Sheila was relieved that her only friend was still in the game. And it's nice to know that maybe one person has my back in this house. After a head of household competition, which cost them dearly. That also means you'll be losing drinking cups for a week. James and Chelsea seized power. Congratulations, Chelsea and James. Now we can do shady things and get away with it. The house battled for food. Congratulations, team seduction. But Sheila, Alex, Adam, and Amanda came up short. Unfortunately, Team Devotion will be eating slop for the next week. A bad week for Amanda has just gotten worse. A lot worse. Amanda's gossiping united the house against her. Even your partner hates you. Shut the f*** up. Everybody right now is hating on you. Affects me. But Allison gave her a shoulder to cry on. Though Amanda has done a lot of things to stir up this house, I think Josh was hitting below the belt. With nominations looming, James and Chelsea made Matt a promise. All I can say is that I'm not going to be on the block. Cool, I won't? Yeah. Thanks. But at the nomination ceremony, they went back on their word. And we nominated Maddie and Natalie because we need you to win the POV. I was lied to so bad, but you know what? Never trust anybody with pink hair. Who will win the power of veto? And will it be used to save either Matt and Natalie or Alex and Amanda from eviction? And tonight, a friendship explodes. Show Show this my is partner. my partner. She's attacking her girlfriend. And two women are rushed to the emergency room. Are you serious? Amanda. Amanda just fainted or something. I was just, you know, all blown up. Came for up. No, her face is all swollen. It all happens now on Big Brother. We gave Maddie our word that we weren't going to put him up on the block this week. The reason we did put Maddie on the block was because we knew that it would be the most strategic way to get a certain couple out. Amanda, you've played this game running around saying things behind people's backs, and I just feel like you were not truthful with me, and I don't like that. With that said, this meeting is over. surprised that Alex and I were put up on the block. We are definitely one of the strongest competitors in this house. They're going to hold on to the weaker people because they think they have an opportunity to win. I'm sorry. I no, mean, I get it. <laughs> it's just, it sucks. Yeah. This is a game, you know? It's just a game. It's all good. You had a lot of words about me. I would say probably 75% of the responsibility that I am on the block right now is because of Amanda. Because she opened the mouth. If she didn't open them out, there's a possibility that I don't go up. It could have been a completely different thing. Hey, you know what? Jump I'm around, gonna talk man. to you. You're hating us. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> I think James is a double crosser. He shook my hand and agreed with me prior to that meeting that I wasn't going on the block. All I was gonna say is that I'm not gonna be on the block. Likewise to you, Cameron. You got that, America? The kid with the pink hair must go down. I made a deal with the devil, and the devil double-crossed me. It's gonna be war at the POV, though. That's for sure. Maddie is so pissed off. Yeah, whatever. I'm done for us next week. I do not feel sad, or bad, or wrong about going back on my word. This is Big Brother. You are supposed to lie, cheat, steal, whatever it takes to get to the end. Are you okay? Yeah. You okay? You yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's so pissed off. 
you gonna do? I know. Like he won't even look at anybody. We have to stop thinking about this as trying to make friends. It's a game. We're here to play, and that's what I'm doing. We're on the block next week. Don't worry about it, dude. Talk to my partner. What's up? Oh, it sucks, me. No man, though. What are you thinking, Patty? What do you mean? What am I thinking? Obviously, I'm, I'm mad. When I know. I, you know, I'm just mad because he he told me, me earlier too. that he was. You know, me he too. gave me his word. They both told me. People's words. Mm -hmm. That's so, what are you gonna do? They both told me. I'm not going into this POV cocky. I'm telling you that much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my hardest, and so is Natalie. I want to win. I know I have to win. Don't leave me alone for a while. No, I'm giving you a stage. I want to tell you one thing real quick. I know you're obviously pissed because I'm pissed too, but remember. Okay, I'm telling you to give me time. Okay. So I don't lay a shot at you in front of these people. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you to leave, Just and we'll have moments of time. I, I do have positive attitude. I have a positive attitude towards this game. Right yeah. now, I have a very negative attitude towards you, and I don't want to take it out on you. Anymore. Just towards me. Babe, there wasn't one thing said about me. Okay, but the, it, no, 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 there wasn't one thing said about me. Exactly. Okay. But listen, so, it's not. It wasn't just about me or. No, 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 it wasn't about you. When. They nominated us. There was nothing to say about Alex. It was Amanda. Amanda. I'm going to give you your space. I just want you to keep it at a positive attitude because that's why Parker and them went home too. You know? I'm not going to be negative to the house. Okay. Absolutely not. All right. Absolutely not. I'm just going to need my space. James. Damn, James. Think positive, kid. Think positive. Oh my god. You're like crazy. Like, it feels really good to not have the target on my back, the big bullseye. It's like a week off from the house worrying about you know being nominated. So it feels excellent. Natalie, Perfume. back to back. One, two, three, five, boom! <laughs> we need to put it on squirt. Natalie would have been killed at that moment. We're not bored here. Yeah, we're not bored. No, here. we're not no, bored at all. Put it on the other side. Well, where's Allison right now? already noticed how stuff started to change. Oh, I know. I see what you're saying. I mean, she was in her attitude after she got off the friggin' block. She's I not know. my friend anymore. It's where is she right now? She was with you 24-7 before. Now where? Yeah. She got you to keep her safe. Now what? She's so now she's gonna work know. everyone else like she worked you. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm seeing things I don't like. And she's been copping an attitude on me ever since she got off the block. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm good with that. I usually go with a gut thing, and my gut has never steered me wrong about people. And I really feel betrayed by her. I felt like she played me, and she did a good job. And I'm just mad at the fact that you, you shook my hand. I was, I was upset. Like I thought, you seem like a straight up dude. Not like an Allison or this one or that one, like, you know, like a little, like, little weasel type of deal. I'm not calling her a weasel, I'm just saying, like. No, you're calling me a weasel. No, I'm not saying you're a weasel. I, I seem like a straight up dude, you know? You are playing Big Brother, bro. You know? Mm hmm. So, how you doing, buddy? What's up? I think Matt and Alex are just generally afraid. They're both pretty cocky people. They both instantly had a relationship when they got into the house, and I'm instantly going to kill that relationship. I know I wouldn't be on the block this week if I didn't have a partner, and you probably wouldn't either. Probably not. No, 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 no. This man is a tricky bastard. Now he puts me up, but he says it's because of Amanda. It's, it's a game. Like, straight up, it's a game. And I hope, you know, when it comes down to voting for people at the end, be like, you know what? That person played the game. That's how I'm voting. Like, both of you just need to play hard as POV, and it's going to be a great POV. I have to win the veto. That's my only guarantee of staying in this house is winning the veto. Well, what are you going to do? I don't want to see you sick. Hey, yeah, yeah, go inside. For the power of veto. You, don't want, you, you guys got a lot to talk about. <laughs> James and Chelsea, you nominated Amanda or not. 
I get past this week, it's revenge. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Can you talk to me? I have found you've been mad at me. No. I have been feeling not. this really weird vibe from you. No, I have not. But let me just confront you because you know I'm that type of person. I have not done anything. Let me just can I explain myself? I'm listening. We're friends. I know that. Okay, but hear me out. I hear know, me out. But I'm not like this. Okay, I like, thought I'll, you were mad at me. Let I'm me just explain this to you. You really turned your back on me after you were off the block. You like kind of ignored me. I felt like, okay, now that you're off the block, you don't want to be my friend anymore. Honestly, Allison, like, okay, okay, is that made up? I'm just telling you what I, I see. I don't think so. Like, I think that everybody goes, what happened to your girl now? And I'm like, I don't know. Hey. I'm not even going to comment right hey, now on that. But all I'm going to say to you is that, like, Ryan is all, like not with Jen. I need to start to, like, somewhat get to know oh, Ryan. I agree. And I just I felt, felt like very mad at me. I wasn't, though. I'm not. It's time to pick players for the veto competition. Only eight people will participate. The head of household couple and the two nominated couples. And one other couple selected by random draw. We will now pick Chip from the bag. Sharon and Joshua. Woo! We have also chosen someone to host this competition and our host today hey, <laughs> big brother will inform us when the competition will begin good luck guys good luck yeah. 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 Uh, one of us has to win pov dude it's like essential mm -hmm. i cannot stand jane and chelsea I really hope one of us wins POV and we switch the whole around. I hope so. I just, I, I want, I don't care if I walk out of here and lose, I want to send those two home. Like, it's like, imperative. Yeah, I'm just like, it is what it is. What's up? Not the much, losers. <laughs> you ready to lose today? Mm -hmm. It must be, huh? You're gonna be real mad when we get ourselves off this. Yeah? Yep. That's gonna be crazy, isn't it? we will be crazy. I think you both are in the place. Okay. At least I'm not placing my life. <laughs> it's time for the veto competition! Get your gear and meet me at the back door. This is a physical competition. I think we're screwed. If either one of the couples win the power of veto, they will be detrimental to any plans that we have for the house. What is this? I walk outside for the veto competition. I see what look like to be like some type of electrical generators. And I realized, you know, even though I'm not an electrician, I am a roofer. You know, I figured it was something along the lines of using my hands and I figured I'd have a little bit of an advantage. Immediately I thought of my dad. He's a lineman and I saw the little poles with like the line on it. So I was like, we can do this. I know what I'm doing. House guests, as you undoubtedly know, our lives drastically changed 15 days ago. Since then, we've been completely cut off from the rest of the world. We have no idea what's happening outside of these walls, but new developments have led us to believe it's possible to restore contact. <gasps> the couple that can solve this puzzle and reestablish communication will not only win today's power of veto, but will also allow the Big Brother house to receive information from the outside world. In the storage area, packed away in thousands of pounds of peanuts, there are cables that can be used to reestablish communication. By properly adjusting the utility poles and connecting them with the correct cable, you can complete the task at hand. When you are done, press your button, and if your red light turns on, you have correctly solved the puzzle. You have restored communication and the power of veto is in your hands. But beware, 
This is not an easy task, so try not to go nuts when solving Big Brother's communication breakdown. Hell's <laughs> get. get ready to start the competition to win these two powers of veto. On your mark, get set, go! Alex and I decided that we would both start by tipping a barrel over and find the ropes. I would start hooking them up and he would go through and find them. How do you open this for? How do you open it? How many you got? One. But the problem was is that the wires were all different lengths as well as the poles. The poles were closer at the beginning and then got further and further apart towards the end of the voltage meter. It's like a puzzle. And there's only one solution. It was definitely more of a mental challenge than a physical because anybody can sit there and try to attach things. It just was attaching them in the right order. We need one trolling over here. Get it, honey. I got a long one right there. One. James, that's not it. That's not it. This isn't it. It's too long. That was big. No, no, no. This was not connected. Can I go over there? No, no, no. This got to go over there. Pull it. Pull it. I got two. I got two. How many you got? How many you got? I got three. I got three. Our strategy was to get all the cables out first and make sure we had them all out. We just start putting them up. We weren't really even thinking, oh, which cable is going to go where? We just start putting cables where, wherever they went. Once we got all the ropes out, we were just like, oh, how does this work? You know, we were definitely lost. Go. Come on, baby, get it, get it. Keep it on there. How many you got? Two more. What? what? No. No, baby, you gotta do two on each side. Two on each side, babe. Here, come on, come on, come over there. Go over there. Pull it, pull it. It's not gonna do it, it's too short. Take a long one off. Take a long one off. Oh, Take the little one. Take a little one. That's it. Oh. That's it. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. No, no, no. We don't have one. We don't Take have a little one. Take a little We don't have one right here. Oh. Look. Find it. Find it. Find it. Okay. I forgot it somewhere. Okay. Come on. Let's do the bottom. That one. Oh. Baby, do that one. Yeah. Go. Go. Come on. Go. 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 I think it definitely will affect the, the game with Josh and I winning the power of veto just because we will do whatever it takes to get to the end. Unfortunately, Joshua and Sharon beat us by a couple of seconds, and a couple of seconds cost us the veto competition. That veto was a must-win situation, and uh, we didn't complete the task at hand. You know, now I'm just praying. Congratulations to Sharon and Joshua. You have restored power to the outside world and have won the power of veto. Here you go. Here you go. Congratulations, you two. House guests, let's see if we have established communication with the outside world. I didn't think Amanda would be a Republican, but then again, you know, I didn't think she'd be much of anything. Amanda is too much, man. What's she thinking? Rooting for one, rooting for the other. I guess she has two favorites. I don't know. Oh my God! I follow the Britney Spears uh, tragedies very, very closely, and it was nice getting my daily dose of Britney gossip. The Hudson River is threatening. 
those cut off from the outside world. The Hudson River virus, I have no idea what that means, and should I be nervous right now? Once I saw the Hudson River virus, it got my mind racing. If you looked at the competition, there were four colors in the competition, the same four colors that are found in the cage in that block. Maybe it'll lead me to another clue to something else. Women, we just have a natural innate like tendency to want to groom men. Oh, I know. Like, I love grooming men. Nat, I'll give you a facial. Yeah, I'm okay. really good at this kind of stuff. Like, this kind of stuff, this is what I like. I just felt Allison became extremely distant and cold as soon as she got off the block. She's been hanging out with everybody in the house but me. They're trying to... <laughs> No! She just pulled my dress off. I did get to a breaking point with the way Allison was treating me. Bitch. She's going down. I swear to God, if she walks in here, I'll say, you're a two-faced bitch. I'm the fool here. I'm naive and gullible. I trusted that girl. I feel like I've been played. Big time. Big time. I'm really upset about and hurt. I am shocked the way Sheila's going off on Allison. I know Sheila's very upset about Allison, but she needs to kind of learn to kind of keep things in and wait to say things. And she told me some really personal stuff, and I swear to God, I'll get it. She said she was in my dad. I don't know if I believe her. Because she looks like she got money. Little stuck up bitch. I feel very betrayed by Allison. I think she's smart enough to convince me and make me think that she wants to carry me through the game, but it's crap. She doesn't even respect the fact that Adam and I freaking voted for her. We didn't have to do that. You know we could have let head of household do it. I saved that bitch from being on the block. Sheila is acting like a mental case, okay? She's a loose cannon in this house. She cries and flips out about something new every day. I saved your ass from the block. True. How dare you, you bitch? And now she's turning on me like this? She's turning on me. She did it the minute she got off the damn block. She said, I don't need you anymore. Do you see her hanging out with me? Not really. She screwed me. And you think that I, I, I'm 45 years old. She might have a formal education and she went to college, but, but I got stupid. street smart. Yeah, you're not stupid. I mean, I lived in New York, okay? Yeah. Yeah. How did I get myself into this mess? Yeah. I'm naive. Right. They're probably hearing it right now outside. I let them hear it. You ain't saying it. You ain't saying lies. <sighs> yeah. Unbelievable. What is going down? Going down. I think she's talking about you. Who's Sheila? Sheila? About? Sheila is talking about me now. I heard her say something like, something <laughs> about how ever since you, she saved you, she, she put herself on the line for you. It's only like you were making it seem like you don't need her. Or something like that. Oh my god. Okay. I'm just letting you know. I don't know what she could be saying right now. Like she, you know, she, no, the minute... What is wrong with that lady? She's crazy. It, it angered me very much to hear what Sheila was saying and making up about my partner. I knew oh. I couldn't try to do it. I knew it. I, I said, I'm just going to go talk to her. I had absolutely had it with her. I couldn't believe that she would go behind my back and say all of these horrible things to these people. It pisses me off that nobody in this house has taken one single solitary second to talk to Sheila about. I've listened to her stories for hours on end. Yeah, I'm just gonna go talk to her. Why don't you guys just come down? Who cares? <laughs> Sheila, do you wanna go talk in private or do you wanna have this conversation here? I just kinda wanna figure out like what you're doing right now. I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing okay. and I wanna keep it at this level. Okay. I don't need to cause a scene with you. I really truly wanted you to be here. You owe me and Adam. We're the ones that took you off the block. And what? Don't you forget that. What? So why are you? Why? I why am I angry? Because the minute you got off the block, you've been treating me like 
How have I treated you like Oh, I don't know, just talking down to me like I'm some piece of crap. I have not. Just because you have a formal education, you think you're so better than anybody else in this house. Who talked to you when nobody wanted to talk to you? Who talked to you? Sheila. Me. Sheila. Me. Vice, I was your You know friend. what, Sheila, vice versa. You know, okay. Yeah, vice But I feel versa. like you've turned on me since you got off the all- block. What are you, Sheila? I don't know what you're talking about. You know about. what? You can sit here and be the biggest phony ever. Sheila, I know you're being what the absolutely cameras. pathetic. Well, so are you. Don't talk to me no. for the rest of this game. Okay, okay I won't. Luck. I won't. Good luck Sheila. for you. You know, you gave me your vote. I've thanked you up one side and down the next. But I don't understand why you're running around you here. Block? You did not. You yes, acted I like did. a to me. How did I act like a it's so hard you. to explain. You know what, Allison? I may not have your education, but I'm a street person. I could. Why do you people. care about my education? Who gives a f- about your, that? I won't, Sheila. I won't, okay. Sheila. I, I, Sheila. You know what? If you're gonna keep doing that pathetically like that, I'm you not gonna what? talk to you. You know what? You can call me I'm pathetic, not- but you've been pathetic. Whatever. I don't understand why you're going on behind her back, all pissed off at her. What'd she do to backstab you? Yeah, what did Nothing. I ever do? Why are you going, going to yeah. her down? I'm telling you, I she was didn't up say there too. You two don't need to be attacking me. I'm not attacking you. Go away. This is my partner. She's been attacking you. She's well, attacking you your girlfriend. You? How did, how'd you get backstabbed? You're tearing her down for what reason? For no reason. She hasn't done yeah. anything to you. Really? Okay, man, the, I don't think you're She doesn't understand why. She doesn't understand why you love Jen. She thinks you're... Really? She doesn't right. say nothing about right. it. Let me tell you. How many times? Times? She, has she has not done anything bad about it. She has not done anything bad about it. She has no time. I have been your friend since day one. Do you go ahead and play your game. I don't have to hang out with you or be your friend. understand why she wouldn't come to me first. Who? Sheila. I know, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't like, make any sense. And be so quick to like stop, like start talking crap. Like I know, I was like, Sheila, I have been there for you. Just when she came down all pissed off, I thought, uh-oh. I know. Everyone just better watch it, you know, because her explosions yep. aren't like little, like they're atomic bombs. Like they're not a little firecracker, they're like the whole package. Right. I don't know, I don't know. I know, you're right though. You just don't know. And now with her being on slop, everyone's gonna start getting cranky. Yep. <sighs> Alice and I were hanging out outside and out of nowhere, Allison said she had to go to the dye room and she immediately ran into the house. <sighs> Someone there, please. I think I'm having an allergic reaction. My throat is closing. I think I need an EpiPen. Please, I'm like, my throat's really closing right now. I'm Tammy, I'm a nurse. What do you think you're having a reaction to? I don't know. You want to do the EpiPen? Yeah. My tongue is falling. Girl, I don't. I need sugar really bad. Oh yeah, you can't have food. Nope, and I might get it soon. Mm. Amanda, she was on the losing team for the food competition, and she got stuck with eating the slop. But she's not hardly eating any slop at all. What are you eating? A little cookie. It's nice. pretty good. How are you feeling? Feeling a little better. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. I don't feel good. I need to go to sleep. No, I, I need really... like 45 minutes. What do you need? Oh, I need some sugar. Go, why don't you go eat some like brown sugar in the, in the slot? I can't. Are you serious? Amanda. Amanda. Hang on. You guys, Amanda just fainted or something. Amanda just fainted or something. She says she's hyper. She's not getting enough sugar. Oh my gosh. Hey, I don't know. Help! Get in the diary room. Yeah, open up. Open up. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> house is in there, all blown up. Can't pull up. No, her face is all swollen. She was in the house, it was just inside the house. Here, move that. Here, here. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. So she doesn't choke her. Suck, suck, suck. Start sucking, start sucking. Oh. Anybody get any juice or milk? Here, go get some juice. Yeah. Here. You have a glass? Go get a glass, get a glass. We don't have any glass. Or get a bowl. Close your mouth, sweetie. Start going to me. I know you don't want to, but you have to. There's milk. You guys went through both milk? There's no milk in it. Give her, give her the water. Give her the water. Yeah. Suck on them. And you're trying to start me help. Yeah. Yeah. Hold her up. Yeah, hold her up. Yeah, hold her up. Yeah, hold her up. Okay, but you gotta swallow. You gotta swallow it. Hey, listen to me. Swallow or you're not gonna feel better. Okay? Swallow the cup. Okay, but you gotta drink more for me because I don't got enough in to keep you stable, okay? You have to drink more for me. No, just orange juice is much better for Yes, when? Just now, I just need you to be calm and drink the milk. Drink it. Okay, honey, you're coming back. What's this? Are you going bye bye in an ambulance, sweetie? Neck pain, head pain from the fall. I was shooting this one when this one got down. Yeah. We're doing C spine. This is a hypoplasia. Oh, this one got <laughs> <laughs> Allison's allergic reaction. I didn't see Allison. Did you see her? Me neither. Give us a second though. We don't want to move yeah. her all there. This one didn't get any. This one did. I was shooting one. Uh, let's see. We got the heads over here, guys. That's crazy, dude. At the same time, simultaneous. It was just really scary, man. <laughs> I was really impressed by James helping Amanda like that. It's better man than me, I think. I couldn't do that. You're a good man, dude. Okay, well, uh... So, so uh, what do we do now? Now there's ten of us in here. With Amanda and Allison getting sick, that really hits you like, wow, these are our friends that are not well. No matter if we may feel, you know, some negative feelings toward them or whatnot, they're still like our family. They, they'll come back, right? Yeah, they'll come back yeah. in the morning. Are you sure? I think Amanda will come back. I don't know. If they're, if they're in a hospital. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. When I saw Amanda leave on the stretcher, immediately my heart started hurting, and I just felt really, really bad for attacking her and being absolutely rude to her. And I really hope she makes it back soon. Um, you know, she is part of my big brother family and I really do care about her. You know, we've had our differences and we fought and said things to each other that we probably didn't mean and whatnot, but when something like that happens and someone's hurt, it makes you think. I put everything aside, you know, I just want to make sure that she's okay. The last thing she said when we were right here, she's like, nah, I'm really not feeling good at all. She was looking at me, she's like, she looks at me, she's like, what happened back? Like, what happened? And when we all saw Amanda pass it on the floor having a seizure, James really did step up to the plate. No, no. Just orange juice is much better for us. Yes. When? Just now, I just need you to be calm and drink the milk. Looks a little out of character for him, you know. He looks like the crazy kid with the pink hair. I didn't think he'd uh, man up like that, and I'm I'm very proud of my friend James. Amanda yeah. grabbed my hand. She's like, "Girl, I really don't feel good." And her face went white, and we went to go lay down. Like, come on, let's go lay down together. She's just completely stiffened up, and boom. Now she's in there, all blown up. I never no, saw it. Did you? Her like lips. Her lips were probably at least triple the size. Her arm, she didn't want to touch because she, she was, was all running. measly. I just talked to her like... I felt horrible. Allison having a huge allergic reaction. I felt like if something happened to her, I could never forgive myself. That sucks. That sucks, That man. sucks regardless of who it is. And who. I know. Amanda?
It's Amanda. Hi, Andy. Hi. Oh my God. Oh, we are so, so glad you're crazy. alive. Oh, say hi, everybody. Look at it. She's alive. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Ben had over that handsome kid over there. He oh. ran in like light yeah, speed. Yeah, James like saved oh. you. That boy held on to you. Sure might. Thank you so much, James. You just do what you got to do in the heat of the moment. You know, I wasn't trying to do it for any other reason but to help a person. That's what people should do for each other: help each other out. <coughs> Huh? Get some bread. Yeah. You want a burger? No, I need to just oh, get yeah. some peanut butter. Crunchy or creamy? Crunchy. I'm scared. You're scary. You're really scary. scary. I was freaking out. Do I look like I was just lying there? These people, even though at times dislike me, have feelings for me and care about my health and my well-being. So things have changed dramatically and I'm definitely happy to be with these people. Isn't that crazy that you're so... You totally did. What happened did. to her? She, she had an allergic reaction, right? At the same exact time. What? The yeah. same exact time? At the time. same exact time. Hey, girl. Welcome back. Come here. She's back. Come hey. here. Oh, you're in one piece. I'm in one piece. It's a snack. I see you're on it. Next thing I know, you're in there. I know. How are you doing, sweetheart? Good. When I got back in the house, everyone was really glad to see that I was okay. And it was a great feeling from the house. And I'm very grateful to be here in the Big Brother house because I'm not sure if I was outside these walls, I would have gotten the same medical treatment so urgently. believe that and I do we, we need to all change the way we are to each other all of it's us just all reacted yeah. sorry I'm sorry too that is just so weird that we both went through it at the same time and we were just okay. arguing but I'm glad we made up we are not robots we're people we have feelings we have families we we love and, and I love you okay I'm sorry I have a child it's a uh, these are, these are someone's children that are in this house, you know? And um, sometimes you have to say to yourself that uh, it's just a game. hospital I realized how bad I want to stay in this house I am 100% in this game and I'm definitely here to win Strategically, I could actually gain an ally or two by saving one of the strong couples. You know, you have to just make the best decision at the time and pray that it's the right one. All right, everyone, it's time for the veto meeting. I still don't feel safe in this house. My fight with Allison has definitely caused ripples. Chelsea and, and James have to decide once they pull someone down. There's a possibility that Adam and I will go up. This is the veto meeting. Amanda and Alex, Matt and Alec, y'all have been nominated for eviction this week. Since Sharon and I have won the power of veto, we can veto one of the HOH's nominations. I am nervous, okay? Natalie and myself are the most physically strong couple in this house. However, it's been said that they want Alex and Amanda out of here. But we all know in Big Brother history how that goes. Who they want out of here and then who actually goes out of here. 
I'm not feeling positive at all. It seems like uh, people in this household are never going to use the veto because they want to listen to the head of household for that week. It is what it is. It sucks that I'm on the block, but I would love for them to use it. Now this is the final chance for both of you to let us know why we should use the power of you to save you. Amanda and Alex, you can go first. Um, I understand that you guys probably want to respect the head of household's um, nominations, and so I'm not going to sit up here and beg you to use the power of veto on us. Do what you got to do. I appreciate what, what everybody's done, and uh, I hope I'll have more time in this house. Matt and Adler? Uh, I respect your decision, whatever you do, regardless. I'd also like to stay in this house, so... <laughs> I don't want to go back to the beaver state yet, but I love you all regardless of what you do. You know, I respect your decision, so thank you for the consideration. Thank you. Amanda and Alex, Matt and Natalie, Sharon and I both love you both a lot. Uh, strategically, congratulations Amanda and Alex for winning the first HOH, as well as Matt and Natalie, congratulations on winning the first power of veto. Unfortunately, we have decided not to use the power of veto. Um, we decided to respect the HOH's decision. With that being said, this veto meeting is adjourned. It is pretty upsetting, you know, I'm up against my, uh, my boy Alex right now on the block and there's nothing we can do about it. But I didn't come here to make friends. This is indeed a game and I'm gonna do what I have to do to win. Unfortunately, the veto ceremony is coming and gone. I'm still up on the block with Amanda. New York first, Boston, one of us is going down. Hopefully, Boston will. A little trip to the hospital is not going to ruin my experience here in the Big Brother house. If I get through this and I'm off the block, everyone better watch out. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Natalie and Matt, or Amanda and Alex? And which couple will become the new head of household? Find out live tomorrow, Wednesday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother.